वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आर यू ए फार्मासिस्ट डू यू नो व्हाट इज जी पी पी जी पी पी स्टैंड फॉर गुड फार्मासी प्रैक्टिस बींग ए फार्मासिस्ट यू शुड नो ऑल अबाउट गुड फार्मासी प्रैक्टिस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज जी पी पी हाउ जी पी पी केम व्हाट आर द सिक्स कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ मिशन ऑफ फार्मासी प्रैक्टिस What are the main role of pharmacist as per good pharmacy practice then i will discuss present scenario of pharmacy practice in india then what are five r in pharmacy and last but not the least section 42 of pharmacy act 1948 definition of good pharmacy practice good pharmacy practice is the practice of pharmacy that responds to the need of the people who use the pharmacist service to provide optimal and evidence based care to support this practice it is essential that there be an established national framework of quality standards and guidelines how the concept of gpb came in the year of 1992 the international pharmaceutical federation developed standards for pharmacy service under the heading good pharmacy practice in community and hospital pharmacy settings the text on good pharmacy practice was also submitted to the world health organization expert committee on specifications for pharmaceutical preparations in the year of 1994 following the recommendations of the who expert committee and the endorsement of the fip council in 1997 the fip as well as who joint document on good pharmacy practice was published in 1999 in the 35th report of the who expert committee on specifications for pharmaceutical preparations what are the six components of the mission of pharmacy practice the mission of pharmacy practice is to contribute to health improvement and to help patients with health problems to make the best use of their medicines there are six components to this mission which includes number 1 being readily available to patients with or without an appointment number 2 identifying and managing or triaging health related problems number 3 health promotion number 4 assuring effectiveness of medicines number 5 preventing harm from medicines and last but not the least number 6 making responsible use of limited healthcare resources what are the main roles of pharmacist as per good pharmacy practice there are four main roles where pharmacist involvement or supervision is expected by society and the individual they serve number 1 prepare obtain store secure distribute administer dispense and dispose of medical products number 2 provide effective medication therapy management number 3 maintain and improve professional performance and number 4 contribute to improve effectiveness of the healthcare system and public health what is the present scenario of pharmacy practice in india as per latest notification dated on 17th october 2022 the pharmacy council of india has directed all the state and union territory governments and state pharmacy councils to take steps to immediately implement the pharmacy practice regulations 2015 notified by the council earlier in january 2015 The new pharmacy practice regulation 2015 was enforced by PCI to regulate pharmacy practice in India. 
as per rules dispensing of drugs should be carried out by the qualified registered pharmacist only which was the main agenda of section 42 of pharmacy act 1948 What is section 42 of Pharmacy Act 1948? The Pharmacy Act 1948 is meant to regulate the profession of pharmacy in India, which has three parts. First part, on or after such date, as the state government may be notified in the official gazette appointed in this behalf. no person other than a registered pharmacist shall compound or prepare or mix or dispense any medicine on the prescription of a medical practitioner provided that this subsection shall not apply to the dispensing by a medical practitioner of medicine for his own patients or with the general or special sanction of the state government for the patients of other medical practitioner second part of section 42 of pharmacy act 1948 describes whoever contravenes the provision of subsection 1 shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend up to 6 months or with a fine not exceeding 1000 rupees or both that means imprisonment plus fine of rupees 1000 what are five bar in pharmacy one of the recommendations to reduce medication error and harm is to use the five rights which is known as five r that means the right dose of a right drug is given to a right patient in right time by using a right route of administration to reduce the medication error to the patient